Hi everyone, I'm Andy Jenks with Henrico County Public Schools, and this video is meant to help show our families of elementary school students what virtual learning might look like during the first nine weeks. Good morning! Everybody awake this morning? Give me a thumbs up! Who's ready to go? At elementary school, the day will begin promptly at 8 a.m. Students will log on to their device, either an iPad or a Chromebook, for daily attendance, morning announcements, class meetings, and in some instances, even a few songs. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Great job singing. Can you give me an air high five? They'll get to connect with their classmates and build enthusiasm for the day's activities. Unlike the virtual learning of this past spring, the daily schedule starting in September will be more defined and consistent. Take a look at this sample schedule for the virtual school day. Notice that students will have the same components of an in-person school day, such as guided reading, math groups, science, social studies, and specials like PE, art, and music. You'll see that even with streamlined instructional times, there will still be opportunities for whole groups small groups, and one-to-one -one student feedback. For grades K through two, the day will generally end by 12.35 p.m. For grades three through five, the day will generally end by 1.05. Virtual learning does not mean students will be in front of their screens all day, every day. We've ensured that flexible breaks are embedded throughout the day, just like we would for in-person school, lunch, Recess and brain breaks are scheduled approximately every hour to help students be their best. You might hear some new words this fall referring to two types of learning, synchronous and asynchronous instruction. Synchronous, or live, is when the classroom teacher is leading the class in real time and the students are interacting. Some examples include a science lesson where students find examples of certain types of leaves from their yard, maybe a virtual field trip to an interesting local museum, or probability lessons involving the flipping of a coin and other daily lessons that introduce new concepts and make them into meaningful learning experiences. If I flip a coin... Asynchronous, or not live, instruction involves teachers intentionally providing highly engaging activities for students to work independently at home. Every school day allows time for both synchronous and asynchronous learning. Alyssa, what do you think is going to happen? What's your hypothesis? We'll see if your hypothesis was right. And here we go. Boom! What happened? What happened? Courtney, what happened? Chapter 5, The Report. By lunchtime the next day, Nick had a Our teachers have access to a wide library of digital resources. These help reinforce previously taught material, close instructional gaps, and open doors to new experiences. Many of these resources are self-adaptive, which means they adjust to a student's level of expertise, no matter their age. Elementary school teacher assignments will come out during the week of August 17th. We encourage you to stay connected to your child's teacher and school for additional information. To view the full HCPS learning plan, including details for preschoolers, middle schoolers, and high schoolers, check us out on the web at www.henricoschools.us slash return to school.